I don't know. I don't know if we know how to be normal together. No, we don't. It's fine. We're just not going to be normal. We're going to be ourselves. It's going to be even better. Hair toss and everything. Okay. So we are here. We are back. I have another guest. I'm so excited. As you know, this is like a segment where I bring on friends, people I've worked with, people who've worked with me, and we're going to go deep on one thing. And today we're going deep on where we're intending to go deep is with visibility. And Sully, master of all things visibility and really like fixing your business, helping you streamline your business and get a plan that takes you where you want to go and be visible in the right ways in the right places is here with me. So we're going to touch on Sully's programs, my SEO stuff, because that's, we've each like worked with each other in those ways. And yeah. All right. You want to say words so that I stop just like rambling? (laughs) Um, Say words. Back to you. Um, yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Sally. I'm excited to be here. I love that you said we're going to go deep on one thing because that's been a theme in my life lately because I feel like what's been happening in my world is I have conversations with people where they're like, I'm just secretly trying to find that one thing. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I get it. We all secretly want to find that one thing, the one thing that's going to like shift it all and fix it all and make it magical and make it all work, right? And there is one thing, actually. There is always one thing you should be doing or focusing on. And you said I'm the master of visibility, and I don't know about that. I wouldn't agree, agree on that. And I would say I am the master of visibility in your business. Yeah. So I'm the master of actually let's create visibility and figure out what's going on actually in your business because the secret to growth and the one thing already exists inside your business much like personal development work where they're always like stop looking for external successes and accolades and love like stop getting your self-worth from external success or love from others or right to feel better. The answers are not outside of you. They're always in you. It's the same in your business. Like the answers are actually, I know lame, but the answers are actually inside your business, but we want someone to come externally and go, Oh, I'll, I'll build out your funnel for you. I'll build out your whole VSL. I'll make you a best-selling author. And that's going to create leads and sales. Mm. I will build out your podcast and tell you what the content should be and the keywords should be and the SEO should be. And I will script it out for you and all you have to do. Like we keep wanting some external thing to come and like fix the whole thing. And actually the secret's right there. It's right in front of you. It's in your business. So yeah. I would say that's how I help people with visibility. I like you that. agree since you have yes. been in my world? I like that very much, especially with like I started the sentence and then you finished it off very nicely with like visibility in your business. And that is so true because like, there's so many things that even me, I had been avoiding before working with you. And I wanted to work with you because I wanted to stop avoiding those things and stop being I'm frankly scared of them because a lot of it was like the numbers and things weren't going so well. And so what do I want to do when things aren't going? So I don't want to look at the thing because that just makes me feel bad. And I go into this whole like shame spiral But in order for anything to change, I needed to go and look at that stuff. And so it felt like we were like, you know, holding hands and walking into the dark cave together. And like, I didn't have to go do it alone. Totally. That that is kind of what I do where I'm Mm -hmm. like, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to go into the dark cave together, but I have flashlights. I I bring snacks. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. I have a backpack. I got you, but we're going to go in. Yeah. I I, I would not work with you if you didn't bring snacks. I mean, we all know that. So, you know. (laughs) That's great. No, but like it, it was really, really helpful. And I've been very fortunate to be able to work with you in a few different capacities and phases of things. And it hasn't even been a full year. So it's kind of wild. It is wild. It is wild. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you said something really great that it's, we're not doing certain things because of the shame. Yeah. We have shame that we haven't made as much revenue as we wanted. We have shame around even just talking about our business Mm -hmm. when people ask us how how's business how's it going how's your you know we we get uncomfortable um but we're still not willing to look at the things that we just need to look at and fix because we can't internally we we have a hard time believing it could be that easy yes could it be that easy right no 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 i must 
I must go and pay this coach 40 K mm -hmm. I must go and pay this person 30 K to build me a VSL. I had a client do that. I must go pay this person 35 K to get me my Amazon bestseller book. I've had a client do that. Like I must go and go do this thing because it can't possibly be so simple as to look in my business and fix some of the basics, right? Yeah. But that has more to do with our inner story and our self-worth and how we're feeling about things. Like it must be something bigger that I haven't figured out yet. But I love that you, you said to me once, you, you voice noted to me once about, do I need to do this? Oh, wait, no, I don't need to do it. You answered the question for you, uh, for yourself. And you said, I'm putting that in the, I don't need this bucket. Right. And I was like, ah, oh, that's amazing. I love it. You have an, I don't need this bucket. That's so amazing. And I you were like, bucket. you told me about the, I don't need this bucket. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> Can I use that? Can I coin that? And you were okay. like, who said it? So you can coin it. But I love that because we're always walking around with our businesses thinking we don't know enough. Mm -hmm. We're clearly not good enough. We don't have enough degrees or certificates. We're not a business person. So there's something we're missing. And, and we don't, we typically walk around with the like, not enough bucket. Yeah. That's how we're walking around. So the fact that you one day were like, oh, I have a, like, I don't need that bucket. And I can just <laughs> put that in the, I don't, I'm like, yes, that's the right bucket. You are yeah. now walking around with the right bucket. You know, when you're just like, that's a really cool offer, but I don't need that. Yeah. And I've actually been putting that into practice this week with like, you know, all of the sales and I'm, I'm in the noise as well, but like, it has been so helpful to be able to like, look at my email and go, do I need any of these things or do some of them just sound fun? So if they've sounded fun to the point where I'm like, maybe I'll check that out. I've left them in my inbox. If I just don't need them, don't want them, they've been deleted. And then usually I come back to those things. And I'm like, that kind of sounds cool. Maybe one day. And it, like, I don't mind paying full price for it if I want it later down the road. So that's the other thing too, is like, okay, if I actually want this, would I be okay with paying full price? Yeah, cool. I'll just wait and see if I need that at some other point. But with, with the whole, like, I don't need this bucket that has taken some time to get there. And working with you has been like one giant major, huge thing that helped me kind of like push over the line to be like, I genuinely don't need these things. Like I've got what I need. But for the last, so we're at the end of 2023 right now, last year, 2022, I was like, I'm not signing up for a single program. I don't need anything else. I've got the information. I have to stop second guessing myself. Like I've got the stuff. I just need to put it into practice. So I did that. And then this year I was kind of wanting to do the same thing of like, I don't need it. But then I met you and I was like, screw that. I need selling. <laughs> and your program was the thing I needed and wanted because I like late last year really started on my healing journey of like me as a person. And then of course me as like a partner, me as a business owner. So meeting you and hearing you talk about like, I think it was you who said like, you give us like a nervous system reset for your business. And I was like, Oh my God, that I want, I want, and I need that because I was so in the healing space of like my body, my soul, my, this, my, that, like my relationship with money, my relationships. And then I was like, Oh yeah, duh. I need to tend to this. But something else I'll add is that recently, I think it might've been in the conversation with Donna, where I was like, I, me being a massage therapist and having that business and building that business up and running that business felt so easy. Everything was coming easily to me, like my clients, my work, like I never second guessed myself there. Then I switch into the online business world and I'm like, what the hell? Like this is, this feels like a fish out of water I feel really vulnerable imposter syndrome started popping up like all of these things started popping up that weren't when I had the in-person business and something Donna said was that just being in the online world like you're more vulnerable you're more open to more possibilities there's no ceiling like for me there was a ceiling with massage therapy I could only take x amount of clients each week without like you know running my body into the ground with this yes there are still caps but the caps are different and higher up than they were with the in-person business. So like, I don't know, I'll turn it over to you. I don't know what thoughts or, you know, connections are coming to mind with all of that. Yeah. Well, what you're making me think of is what you said of, oh, I went into the online business space and it was different and all this stuff, all these feelings started to come in. What I would say, I, I was wondering in my head while you were saying that, why does that happen? Mm -hmm. And I think the reason that that happens is because there's a lot of confusion 
in the online business space. It's harder to tell who's legit. What's a really good program or coach or offer for you? What do I actually need? Right? So what's happened is before you as a massage therapist served a very clear purpose and solved a very clear pain. Mm -hmm. But now you've stepped into this world where there's a lot of confusion about what people need. And so you're dealing with, as well as I am, with people who may talk to you, but they're like, ah, oh, but do I really need SEO? Right. I don't understand it. It's a little overwhelming. It's scary. Maybe I just, oh, that content program, that's a little bit cheaper. And everyone is talking about posting twice a day now. So I must need that. So what you're now talking about, it's interesting, right? You experienced imposter syndrome, but imposter syndrome in a different way, because it has nothing to do with your ability to deliver. It has to do with you're now in this marketplace where everybody is running around confused. <laughs> no one, everyone's trying to build a business, trying to make money from home, or even trying to make money in, in the whatever local business or service that they, you know, that they created. And there's no real direct, there's tons of business coaches out there. There's no certification. For a massage therapist, I have to go to somebody who's passed through a certification and done 200 hours, 300 hours, right? For a therapist, I go to a certified person that's done the 200 hour, like there's everyone can call themselves business coaches mm -hmm. and everyone has totally different offers based on their level of expertise and, and the thing they love to do or the thing they did that blew up their business. And so they assume that's the answer. And so we were speaking to a lot of people who are just really confused and are like, is it that, is it that, is it that? So that then creates ironically imposter syndrome and all those people who are selling and in mm -hmm. us as well right yeah um and this is actually where I think I mean you're the expert on this but this is where SEO can help because if yeah. you're actually speaking more and more to the words that people are using to look up their problem and to solve their problem the more people are going to find you right yeah because you're going to end up in front of that warm to hot traffic you're not you're not so much fighting for your spot of like, this is the problem and I can help you. You're more finding yourself in search results for people who are like, I have this problem. I need a solution. And then you're on that page as a solution. And they're like, oh, and then they click and they resonate with you and they vibe with you. And then they, you know, get in your world in whatever capacity that might be. But as you were talking, I was thinking like, there is like you peel up open or, you know, pull back the curtains on the visibility of the business. But then once that person has a really clear vision, offer suite, marketing, you know, all of those pieces that you go through in your programs, then they can tap into the visibility with SEO because I can't work with someone who's confused themselves. And the first three questions that I always ask people, what you know, are who do you help? How do you help them? And what do you want to be known for or as? I want to be known as the SEO and case study copywriter. So one day I was like, no one's going to know that I can do that unless I start talking about it and show up and talk about what I do. So I jumped on podcast interviews and I put out content and I started calling myself the SEO and case study copywriter and putting myself in the right places where people would start to go, oh, you're the, and it's funny because I didn't even call myself this, but I have people coming to me like, oh, you're the SEO queen. Oh, you're the case study queen. I'm like, yes, thank you. <laughs> like, well, yes, I am. <laughs> And that just shows that my work works. Yes, it does. Yeah. So with you, because we worked not only with my business stuff and mindset and nervous system things for my business, but with you with SEO. So it's been a little, it's been a little minute since we worked on it, but does anything stand out from what that process was like or any aha moments around SEO and keywords and like you getting found online? I think that for me, in that process, it was, again, it's kind of like what I do for people in their businesses <laughs> where it was like, oh, can it really be this simple? <laughs> oh, I have to just like put that word there and I have to put that word there. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That's it? Because again, when, when there's something we don't understand and I should use this for my own content, mm -hmm. right? When there's something that we don't understand and we feel like we 
don't know how to do it. That creates so much self-doubt that we can't possibly go for the easy answer or the person who has a really simple and direct solution. We got to go for the really big ticket mastermind or the really expensive guru coach or the $40,000 VSL built out for us system. Or, you know, now all these people who are like, you know, take our whole sales process and we'll run it for you, but we'll take this percentage cut of your revenue. That's a Mm -hmm. really big one right now. We think it's got to be that because we can't, it makes us too uncomfortable to sit with the fact that it might be something really simple, yeah. but I just haven't had the time to figure it out. And I think that's hard for entrepreneurs because we are naturally figure outers. Mm-hmm. We are naturally, I'll do it myself type people. We're naturally like, I want to start my own business because I'm tired of the system. I'll do it myself. I'll build it myself. I'll figure it out. So when something feels hard, we think, well, it must be something really complicated because I Mm -hmm. haven't figured it out myself. Um, And that definitely happens for me and my clients as well. I'm like, it's really the simple. It's just that you've avoided some of this work because we avoid the things we don't know. Mm -hmm. We avoid the things we don't know how to do. And we avoid things that might make us feel a little dumb. Yeah. And so in my SEO experience with you, when you gave me your beautiful full walkthrough of like, this goes here and this goes there, and you put this here and then, I mean, I was kind of just like, really, really, it's really the straightforward. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel a little dumb right now, but fine. Fair. And that's the truth, right? It's mm-hmm. like, if being honest, it's like, oh, I haven't done this because it makes me feel dumb that I, being such a smart, hardworking overachiever, I didn't figure this out. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, what we have to remember is that our biggest value is that we shorten time. What you and I actually do is we shrink time. That's actually what I do. I need to put that on my website. (laughs) Yes. Shorten the learning curve, shrink time, get leads to you faster. Because somebody asked me, somebody responded to an email, um, my newsletter, someone responded to the email and was like, okay, but I've been thinking about this, this, and this. And like, she's a therapist and she's a food therapist. And she was like, why would I'm, I'm getting stuck in my business and offering my offers. And why would anybody even want to work with me? Like, I'm starting to like have trouble speaking to it. And I'm kind of wondering why anybody would work with me. And I was like, cause the same reason that anybody would want to work with me. Mm-hmm. You can't like, you can figure it out yourself. You will eventually, if you are really wired as an entrepreneur and you are self-motivated and you are an overachiever and you are a hard worker and you're all these things that we all resonate with, you will get there yourself. But you are going to go through all these roller coasters and all these things. You're going to go through it all alone. You're going to buy the wrong courses. You're going to pay for the wrong coaches. Mm -hmm. You're going to do all the things that you didn't need to do. You're going to be active in six different social media channels. You're going to do all the things until you figured out the formula that works for you rather than work with a strategist who helps you find the strategy that's right for you and shortens that time. Because that can be a 10-year the average good solid business, if they make it past the hard, hard, hard years, because they will happen, gets built in 10 years. The only reason you would work with a great therapist or a great coach or a great strategist or a great SEO expert is to shorten the time. Mm -hmm. That's it. So like, that's what I say to people too. Like, yeah, you don't have to work with me. My job is just to get you there quicker. It's up to you. Yeah. I love that because that's exactly why I mean, talk about like figuring it out, being an overachiever, wanting to like, you know, fix things. That's why one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why I got into SEO, because I kept hearing like, it's, oh, it's so expensive. It's so complicated. It's only for the big companies. And I was like, all right, let me check this out. I went down, you know, all the rabbit holes and figured it out pretty quickly. And then, and then immediately just how I'm wired. I'm like, I have to tell everyone about this. It's not this hard. So for, you know, two and a half years, I've been doing that. And the reason there are big SEO companies charging a lot for it, and I 
I have SEO company clients, so I shouldn't say this about them, but the reason they charge so much for it is because there's this market belief that it's really hard. Yeah. That's really complicated. So they're allowed to charge a lot for SEO because there is this marketing belief that it's really hard. And when you showed me what I needed to do and what I needed to change in my website, I was like, it's really that easy. I feel like such a loser. But no, but like I did the same thing even with looking at the numbers. Like I've been messaging you so much in Q4 because I finally created a plan for my business. And I was like, I want this many people in this program. I want this many clients for this month. These are going to be my marketing activities. And lo and behold, holy crap, I put the plan together and it works. (laughs) So of course I've been sending all of the like, duh, emojis to you and, you know, gifts and all of that stuff because it's like, It really is that easy. And I was over here making it super complicated. And now I get to laugh at myself. But before I did, I was doing the shame spiral and like, oh, I'm too whatever to figure it out on my own. And the shame spiral can just really make things seem really hard. Yeah. The shame spiral is so good at that. The shame spiral is really good at making you feel dumb, making you feel like you're not enough. You're not good enough. You don't know enough. You don't know what to do. You don't know how. And it makes everything harder when you believe all of those sentences. It does. And then you find Sally and she's like, oh, wait a minute. These are incorrect sentences. We're just going to swap that, move this. Just sentences. They're not true. No. And yeah. they're not. And like, it's so funny because you, I was believing them so hardcore. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, holding these beliefs that like, I'm good. I'm patient. I'm like, everything's fine. Things are whatever. And then I come into your world and it's like, oh, these, these things just are not true. And I'm like, oh yeah, sounds, sounds, you know, different when someone else says that to you versus the voice in your head. That's always like the voice in your head is very convincing. So convincing. She deserves an award. She's doing great. (laughs) She's doing great at holding me back. It's amazing. Sit down. (laughs) But also like you won the award last year. You can't win it every year. Okay. Like let other people. Yeah. 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 Totally. But that's how I, you asked me how I felt. And that's how I felt when you delivered your SEO strategy to me. I was like, okay, I feel like a loser. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then also, like, can I hire you to implement it? Cause I also don't have time to do it. Yeah. You know? And that's been kind of the cool evolution of my work, at least, is, and this has gotten me into some of the trouble that we discovered when we peeled open my curtains for my business. But like, if someone has a, thing that they want or need help with I'm more than happy to help but then I was creating all of these offers like almost every month and then I'm like why am I spinning out oh I don't know because you're not creating a plan and sticking to it and just working the freaking plan yeah yeah Which totally. I'm not alone in that yeah I mean you can always uh, add an offer on if it makes sense like there's mm-hmm. no rule that you can't but it's got to be something that you can deliver with your eyes closed that you can deliver the result because that's my number one rule. Make sure that your offer actually delivers the result you promised. And you can always adjust to somebody's needs if you have the time and space and bandwidth to do so. But if you're super focused on, well, actually I'm selling these two offers right now. And I know that they are the goal. And I know that they solve a problem that people want and that people want to pay for. Mm -hmm. And I know that I deliver. And I know that that solid customer journey has been built. Then I get to make a conscious decision if I veer from those offers and do something else for someone. Right. Right. Um, And so that instead of coming from this place of like, okay, I have to say yes to that because I have to do that too, because I need, I need the money. Right. Or, or because I want to satisfy everyone and and I want everyone to like me because we use our businesses for a lot of things. We use our businesses not just for making money, but we use our businesses for self-validation. Mm-hmm. We use our businesses to be liked, right? Mm-hmm. So um, when you have a clear plan and it's very, very clear what you're doing, it also helps you in those moments when you talk to somebody. Like I just talked to somebody recently who wants to join my J-term, my three-day accelerator of the Grown mm-hmm. Business Accelerator. And she was like, oh no, it happens to be on the weekend. That's my husband's birthday and we're going out of town. And and like, I really, really wanted to do it. And I really wanted to get this early bird price. And and I was like, okay, sometimes I do it as a VIP day. And because you have a very legit reason why you can't be there on those days, because you've already booked travel for your husband's 40th birthday. 
fine, let's do it in this VIP day setting. But I can do that because right. the frameworks are built, the structure's in place. I can deliver this in a VIP day. I've done it before. It's not an offer that I advertise because I prefer for people to do it in a group setting because I actually have now, after running it so many times, I've learned that people actually learn from each other too. Oh yeah. Anyone's question that gets asked, they learn from each other and they get even better. So um, the group setting of it is actually an accelerator I, I find. And it's really, really fun for me, which I find really interesting because I'm such an introvert. So it's very know, interesting. Same. I really enjoy leading the group setting. But, but for this person, I was like, I can do it this way for you. And then you can choose to join the next level program, the next level of community if you want to. And she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. So I wasn't like breaking all my rules, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't make up a whole new thing for her, but, and that was a legit situation. But when you actually have a plan in place and you know what you're doing and you have clear goals and you know what you need to be doing, it also gives you flexibility to be like, mm -hmm. okay, I'll do this, right? So yeah. it's not, I feel like sometimes people get scared that, I, that they're going to have everything super set in stone and that the cre creativity is going to be gone because you have an actual strategy growth plan. And it's like, no, not at all, actually. They so. really worry about that. And even with SEO, it comes up because people are like, oh, if I pick this keyword or if I say I want to be known for this thing, like I can never change it. And it's like, no, but you need a strategy in place so that you have something going out there and giving you SEO juice now. Um, there's, some, there's another thing that happens too, but definitely with the keywords and people are like, oh, well, this keyword, you know, it, it, what if I change this? And it's like, okay, then we come up with a different strategy. And either now that I've shown you what you need to do you can go and do this on your own or you can invite me back and I can do the you know round two of this but you're not married to it you're just dating it it's there it's serving a purpose for you just date your keywords just date them just like it's okay um so yeah that's that's part of it and then I had a really interesting experience with a client recently where working with him really gave me insight into like what my special sauce is which is in the key in the key writing in the copywriting world you've got personality copywriting and then you've got seo copywriting so either it's like me fun bubbly like exciting whatever inviting or it's dry and boring and there's keywords and i'm over here like no there's there's a line right in between these two and we can have personality and we can have the keywords and people are like what we can do both this is possible yeah. Awesome. That's a good, I like this. I like this angle for you. Awesome. I like it too, but it was cool because working with this person, he's known for having a certain personality and he had had another SEO person come in and I don't think they really took the time to understand his people and their needs and their stage of awareness and just like where they're at and what they want. And so it was very like high level general keywords for his type of work and so the headlines did read as boring and dry and just like lacking and not what people have come to know him for so the reason I ended up working with him is because he wrote to me he, I had replied to his email because I'm on his list he wrote back and he's like I see you're doing SEO now can I ask you a question I had this person work with me and now my headlines read like this can I change them back I'm like yeah you can change your headlines back is it going to be like shooting myself in the foot with SEO I'm like no you're fine like I asked him a couple of follow-up questions, but basically no, like I, he needed the permission to go back. And then I was like, can I investigate this further for you? Cause there's another, there's another way. And he's like, what really? So th the difference with me was that I wanted him to leave his headlines the way that they were because they were so strong with the personality. I did the keyword research, explained all of that to him, gave him one of the nice, lovely, robust documents and then said, take a you know take a stab at it and try to put some keywords in those headlines yourself and if you get stuck anywhere just let me know and he was so confident and he like very much understood seo at that point that he was able to go and do that on his own and now he's like check this out look i got this thing from google analytics <laughs> it's really cool that's awesome yeah that's awesome and that's also a really interesting angle for you too which is you know keywords can be fun and be still with you can use keywords and still keep your personality intact. That's a yeah. really big angle for you and what you do for people. Thanks. I have another YouTube video, so I'll just like link that to this one. There you go. That. 
Yeah. Amazing. See, layup, layup for you. And we didn't even do that on purpose. I know it wasn't planned at all. All right. I know. I know we both have things to do. So if, oh wait, you have your, you have your thing coming up. Will you tell the people about your thing that's coming up? Oh, my workshop, my chaos yeah. to clarity workshop. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so that is on Friday, December 1st at 12 PM Eastern. And, um, I guess we can share a link. Yeah. Right. I'll make sure it's linked. It's, um, a workshop about actually what we're going to do is dig into the visibility of your business. And you're going to understand what actually makes a business work. What are all the pieces that make a business work? And I'm going to teach you how to go in and look at where your business maybe has some gaps or needs a little extra love so that you know exactly what you need to do in your business to grow it. So I'm going to help everybody have visibility into their business and understand, oh, that person who's selling me yet another marketing course, they're great. And I love following them on Instagram and they're hilarious, but actually that's not what I need right now. I need this. I need to go back and fix this or do this. So what I want to do is really empower people to know what is their one thing right now. Yeah. Yeah. And you're so good at that. I mean, that's been one of the most empowering parts of working with you is that I don't feel the need to go back to you to like get approval for something, which there were times where I was like, I need to go check with so-and-so just to make sure that like I'm thinking the right thing. It's been much more of a, here's how you check things out for yourself. If you need something, I'm over here, but like try it yourself first. And for the most part, I think a lot of us who've worked with you have been able to navigate that like much better on ourselves than our own. Yeah. Somebody who uh, went through our recent cohort said to me, she's a branding expert. And she said to me after a call, she's like, what you're really doing is teaching self-advocacy. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I love that. She's like, you're really actually giving me the tools to now start looking at my business without the imposter syndrome, without the I don't know enough. I'm not a business person. I don't know how I actually know how to look at my business. And I can, I come to you on these calls and say, I'm thinking this, but I think I just answered my own. That happens a lot. And you probably yeah. the community where people ask a question and they answer the question. They say it out loud and they literally answer it for themselves. And I'm like, you got it. But that's because they've now become pros at looking at their business a certain way, looking at what's working and what's not working, looking at the data. And they realize, because we add mindset in the next level, they realize that that desire to go back to the coach and ask the question has more to do with the inner voice and the self-doubt and less to do with their ability to understand business strategy. Exactly. I'm really excited for people to be able to experience you for a couple hours. So thanks for holding the workshop. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be fun. It's going to be I'm fun. Excited. And it's an all, you have never seen this. It's an all new oh, I teaching. So even people in my world are are coming because I'm like, no, 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 it's all new. You have it. This is actually how my brain works fully. And I'm going to share it with you. You've never so seen excited. this. So yeah, I've, seen, I've like seen windows into your brain and it's you've fascinating. Win- yes. You've seen vignettes. vignettes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining me and talking with me about all this fascinating stuff you're very welcome thanks for having me on your show of course all right we'll see you next time